Hey, this is Beth with Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am going to do a little Goodwill Blue Box unboxing today. I um, have stated in my last video that I was getting one from, what was it, Tracy, California? Um, and I just got this one yesterday and it came from San Francisco, uh, um, California. So I'm really excited to see what's inside, what goodies we have today. So um, we're gonna go ahead and open up and do some first impressions. So I am interested to see, like this is an eBay paper. So that's like, I've never had that before in Goodwill blue boxes. Um, I don't know if it was just like leftover paper, but I'm like, this is so weird. So I've never had that before, so that's new. And then um, I've never had from the West Coast and I've never had from California. So we've got a lot of um, never have eyes in this box. And my first impressions are, um, okay, I don't see, I see a lot of bangles, um, maybe some silver in here. So we're gonna start digging into this and see what we have. Um, I'm hoping it's good, just cause I, like I said, I've never had from California before. So I'm just gonna take a handful out and we're just gonna take a look at it. I'll do a little one at a time here. Let's start with the giant, this almost looks like abalone maybe on here. Um, I'm not sure though. I might have to do a little bit of research, but it does look like, I mean, it looks like abalone to me. The way it's like shining. Do you see like the little shine to it? Um, it's definitely, and it's kind of, I can feel the ridges in it. So I don't know if this is got some like clear coating on it or if this is just something that's like glued. It looks like, I mean, it's got like this black mark in it too. So I'm assuming maybe it's, I don't know, maybe have a, overlay of some kind over it, but it looks kind of abalone to me. It could just be like tile or something. I don't know, but I'll take a look and see. Um, I've only been doing this for a couple months, so I'm still learning a lot. So if you want to leave a like or a comment and kind of help me out identifying some of this stuff, I would super appreciate it. Um, this is kind of a treasure hunt for me too, and learning all this new uh, jewelry link language. I know, you know, the minimal stuff, but having y'all's help and, um, deciphering what all this stuff is. I'm looking for the words here, but you guys helped me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So leave me a comment or a like, um, and let's see what this is. So this looks like it's probably too big for a bracelet. So I'm gonna go with an anklet. Um, it's super pretty. Let's see, looks like we have a CB mark here. I don't know if you can see what this lighting says, so CB. And then we also have SLR. Um, I'm pretty sure that's silver. It's a silver marking. It's got a really cool, it looks very vintage. It's heavy, like super heavy. I'm actually really shocked that it's this heavy. I would say it's at least a, you know, maybe like 30 to 50 grams of weight. Um, it's cool. I would definitely sell this. I'll test it for silver, but, um, I would definitely wear this. This is an awesome piece and I would probably sell this for like $30. I would think if it's real silver and it checks out all good, then I'm going to go with $50 or I just said 30. So I'm going to go with 30. I'm sorry. It's just nap time. If you guys watch my other videos, this is, I do this during nap time. <laughs> I have three babies, four and under, and I'm tired all the time, but I love doing this. So excuse me if I start yawning. So like I said, $30, really cool piece. And let's see what's next. What's next? We have a little like cloth, looks vintage-esque maybe, just like a leather actually, looks more leathery. So here it is, it's got some three charms on it. Let's see, okay, and we have some maker's mark. So it says Turkey 925, ooh, let me get it here, there we go. Turkey 925, see what you are, Turkey 925 and Turkey 925. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I can clean this up. So maybe, I don't know, probably put it on a different chain. I don't know if these are like going for anything. I'll have to look that up. I don't think I've ever had turkey 925. So it's interesting. It's like different shapes, circle, oval, and like a triangle. So if you know anything about this, let me know what you think. But um, it's cool. I could probably put it like on a real, you know, 925 chain and kind of see where we're going. I live in Georgia, so if you hear me sniffling, we've got like the 
pollen clouds are coming. <laughs> Um, down south, I don't know why, my dad at least said when he was growing up north, he didn't have like huge plumes of of um, pollen, but it'll be all over our car soon. I just saw it today, a little layer, so I'm already starting to sniffle a little. The joys of springtime, I'll take it over the freezing cold of the winter though, so. All right, we got a little tingle going on here, so let me get this. Ugh, looks like a love bracelet. Love bracelet is messing me up right now. Let's just take a look at that. So it says love. Um, it's got some hearts. Ooh, we have a stamp. So let's see what it says. Um, what does that say? L Y and then nine two five. So I can see the L nine two five, but I can't tell. There you go, nine two five and then L Y. I think. Let's just check the clasp. Nothing on there, so that's cool. It's a cute little bracelet, a little love um, with hearts down it. Should have had this for uh, Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> but it's really cute. So 925 and it feels pretty heavy with a little design on it. I'd probably sell this for like 15. If you want it on here, I'll give it to you for like eight. But that's a cool piece. Oh, this is pretty. I've gotten some of these daintier bracelets before, but do you see like the twist? You see it? twist on it so pretty okay so super shiny super pretty let's see if we have a marking and we do let's see what we have here oh what does that say uh 925 italy okay and what's this i'd say 925 italy okay so that's cute uh i'd probably sell this for like seven dollars if you wanted it on here i'd give it to you for five but i'll have my links um for my poshmark i saw on poshmark etsy and um poshmark etsy i'm sorry see i'm i'm losing it poshmark etsy and uh ebay so i will put my links down there in this video and let you know what what's up for sale how much it is and all that fun stuff and you can email me as well if you're interested in a piece but here's a little long necklace it's cute um we got some jewels on it i don't know i'll start my presidium let's see if we've got anything here all right we've got some like royal crown kind of look again i don't know what that is and then nothing on the back so Hmm, let me warm up my Presidium real quick and we'll take a look. So if this is like diamonds, which would be awesome. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, they're really shiny and pretty, like it could be. <laughs> Let's cross our fingers. I doubt it. So right now we're up to, I think it was, oh, what, was 30, like $60 right now. And let's test this. My Presidium is ready. So we're up to 60 right now. Let's see. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can take a look. Right, let's get this calibrated really quick. I love my Presidium. You'll see I have a video as well for all the tools that I use. And this is my favorite. This is my baby. <laughs> I don't let my kids near this sucker. It's expensive, but it's totally worth it. So looks like we're glass. So that's cool. Um, and that depends on if this is silver or not. So if it's fake, uh, it's really only like five to ten dollar difference. But you can see, I mean, it's super detailed and really pretty. Um, showing you the back side, so. So yeah, it's really cute. I like it. It doesn't look like all of them have the jewels either. It looks like some of them are just plain and then some of them have the jewels. So that's cool. It's detailed. It's pretty. Um, so we're up to 60. So I'll add in, this is like another probably 10 so 70 now so we have doubled the box um this is pretty this looks like a cheaper chain this is a pretty jewel though big old jewel let's check the chain make sure we're not working with some silver or something oops there we go all right so we have nothing on the chain yeah nothing on the chain so let's see if you're magnetic no no magnetic so, I mean, it could be silver. I don't, I wouldn't place it with this for sure. I don't know why. I just don't, I'm not feeling this chain with this. 
pendant. I feel like this pendant needs like a smaller, prettier chain. All right, we have 925 on the back. Is that it? What is that? 925, what does that say? LBJ? Is that what it says? I don't know, can you see it? Let's see. Uh, I can never get it to focus. Something BJ or RJ? I don't know. I'll have to do some research, but it says 925, so let me zoom in again. Really quick, so we can test this and you guys can see it. It's fun to do it together, right? <laughs> We have glass again, so that's cool. Um, it's cute. Um, I would definitely put it on a different chain, and if so, uh, probably like five to eight bucks. If you want on here, I'll give it to you for four. But so it's what is that? Seventy five now. That's cool. Um, I wanted to start like counting how much I'm getting because I always have to like go at the end of the video and like count everything that I've said. So let's just broke off of here. But it looks like it just slips on with these. So it looks like this little gold chain. I'm gonna check to see if it's magnetic. I don't have any class on it. Um, no markings, so it's not magnetic. So I wonder if it's gold plated. This looks, um, what is this called? Uh, gilded, gold gilded on here. So I, these don't look real though, like the, geode it doesn't look like a real geode and it looks like it's a scratch so it looks like somebody maybe painted and did a little texturing on it i mean it's really pretty and like i said it's gold gilded um but yeah i don't know and this isn't it's not magnetic either so i'm gonna do some research i probably sell this for like five bucks maybe eight just starting out i'll fix that later so what is that like 82 now and we're like not even dug into here so Let's get some of the cheapos out so I can put to the side. And we'll get down to the nitty gritty here. Okay, so we have classic choker. Let's scoot this up. A little choker cloth. It's going to go into a lot. I sell lot boxes as well between um, $20 and $25. Um, so if you're into crafting or just want to you know, have your own little treasure hunt, some bangles, I'll put that into a lot. You can check out my email or my Poshmark. I sell them on Poshmark and Etsy mostly. I haven't put one on eBay yet. eBay is just kind of like my random ones. So all these are a lot. Little plastic earring lot. Bangles on bangles on bangles. And more bangles, but this is kind of pretty, but it's tarnished at the top, so that kind of stinks. There is a name on here, so let's just check. Looks like Kate Spade, New York. I have it upside down, but this would be so cute if it wasn't tarnished. And I don't know if there's anything I can do to like get the tarnishing. Yeah, it's a magnetic too, so that's cool. And it's got the little clasp. So I have a massive 185 pound Great Dane and he's moving around right now. So you might hear him grunting like the old man he is. Um, it's kind of tarnished, so I'm going to put that in the I'm not sure pile yet. So if I was to sell this, I really don't think I'm going to, though, but I'd sell it for like $2 just because it's tarnished. So probably just put that aside and not even worry about it. Let's see, we got some more lot material. This giant, we got a lot going on here. We got giant crystal balls with, I don't know, it's going into a lot. Another bangle going into a lot. This little glass see-through beaded necklace I don't know it's going into a lot because I don't know what you are oh you're trying to get back over to me hey yeah yeah all right we got another cloth choker not really my style um, just gonna pull some stuff out so we can take a look a look see and see we have this is super shiny stuff. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, I'm starting to get excited here. We got some stuff. All right, I'm gonna start with this first. So this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So it's cold to the touch. That's a good sign that it's real. 
I'm gonna just go ahead and test these stones. We'll head out. Zoom in a little bit. My husband's back from the store, so you'll hear him. <laughs> okay, so we have probably some rose quartz. And then let's try the purple. I'm sure, it's amethyst. Ooh, nice amethyst. Um, let's see this. Mm, another probably quartz, I'm assuming. Another clear quartz. It's really pretty too. It like, looks like glass almost. So pretty. It feels so cold. That's awesome. All of these seem to be real. So this is a lot. And these are some big old stones. So I'm definitely going with, I mean, this is going to be probably a pretty expensive necklace. Um, with those stones, the size they are, um, they go for a little bit more. So J and T tie. I've never heard of that before. This looks like a vintage piece too. 925. Um, it looks really cool and cute. So I'd probably sell that for like, I don't know, probably like 40 to $50. So that jumps us up into the hundreds now. I think we're at like 110. So that's awesome. Let me zoom out for you. We're over here touching it. You can't even see it. So there we go. So it's really cute. So I think we're up to, like I said, what was that like one? Actually, I think we're like up to 120 now. 130, something like that. Oh, we've got a tangle. Give me a second. My husband's gonna be a notepad. What a good husband. <laughs> he knows I'm not the greatest at math at this time of the day. It's been a long morning. And I have a five month old, so I'm still up at night a lot. Um, so this is a. Okay. <laughs> So my husband just wrote down my numbers for me. So I think it's 120, babe. Um, here's my little amethyst earring. I'm sure this is amethyst. Zoom in again so you can see. Oops, and I turned it off. What in the world? Okay, I'll let that heat up for a second. We'll look at something else. So this is 925. We got like a little earring. So that's interesting. It's pretty heavy. I would definitely have to do some cleaning. But I'll put it to the side and see if I can find a mate. Somebody might like this. It's a, it's a big one. So if I found a mate for that, I'd probably sell this for $10. So I think we're up to $130 now. Ooh. All right, so we're heated up. Let's calibrate you real quick. Come on. All right. All right, all right. So let's do this. Oops. All right, let's try it again. These stones are so small, I might not be able to do it all the way up. It's getting close, though, so I'm assuming this is amethyst. There we go. Yeah, these are nice little amethyst, so that's awesome. So if I found the match for this, I'd probably sell it for, hmm, probably like 15. So my husband's adding all this up, so I'll just keep throwing numbers at him, and we'll see what we get at the end. i just like to know. It's really cool to kind of add it all up and see what we have. So here's another little charm, little hook through bracelet. It's cool, it's cute. It's definitely like a trendy piece. I don't see any markings. Let's see if you're magnetic. Yep, looks like you're magnetic. At least that part is. Yeah, so it's definitely a costume piece, but it's cute. So I don't know, I'd probably sell this for like $5. If you wanted it on here, you could have it for like three. It's cute. It's got a big old heart on it. You can like engrave something on that. It'd be really cute. Um, let's just keep on digging. So we have a little like, almost like looks like turquoise inlay on there. I don't know if it's real. I'll have to do my little acid test on it. So you can take like fingernail polish remover or something like that and something with that acid in it. Acetone, I think it is. And it'll rub any of that dye off to see if it's real. But the silver, if this is silver, looks good. No, we're not magnetic. It's cute though. I would probably sell this if I find a matching pair for maybe $10, if it's real. Now we've got a little gold hoop. Shiny. My little assistant, my husband, who doesn't get paid anything. 
He has to invest my business and doesn't get paid, right? Poor guy. Um, he's my little assistant right now. It's so nice. He's checking on my babies. Um, no markings on this, but it's cute. If I find a pair, um, maybe like seven dollars on there. So that's cool. All right, let's keep on digging. All right, so we have a little lion and her cub. These would definitely sell if I can find a match. WB, I've never heard of it, but it is really cute. Little lion cub. Uh, it's magnetic, so yours would probably be five bucks online if I can find the pair. All right, now we have this gem. It's a little, like, I've had some of these before where they're like the hand tie or whatever. Um, let's see. Just some more out. So, this is cute, though. Um, let's test the stones. Let's see if they're real. They look nice, so. I'm still zoomed in, so I'm going to have to zoom out again. There we go. All right. So that's cool. The green stone. Um, I want to say maybe like tourmaline. That's what that is. Probably tourmaline, I'm thinking. Let's see what this guy is. Ooh. Probably aqua then, I think. Aquamarine. Let's see what you are. Hmm. I wonder if that's like another tourmaline. Let's try again. The purple one. I would have thought it was like maybe amethyst or something. Oops. This is not the stone here. Hmm. I'll have to take a look at that one. Nothing on the red, it doesn't look like. Let's try again. Another the yellow again. I've done the rest. Let's do one more red just to make sure here. Okay, some some of these might be glass, but it looks like it's mixed with real stones, so I don't know. Probably sell this for like mm, maybe like $30. It's really pretty. Super shiny. Really beautiful little gems on it. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but it's really pretty. Alright, next up is this guy. Super pretty. Another it looks like one of those little. Let's see if we've got a mark on here. All right. Nine two five. So that's good. Um, little clasp here. So that's cool. Let's check the stones. We've got a lot of stones today. Looks like probably glass. Yeah, they're probably glass. So, uh, something like this. I mean, it's really pretty. It would definitely sell. I'm going to say mm, maybe like 15. If you want it on here, you can have it for 10. This is another one of those. I like this one where it's kind of got like those S, little S dividers and like all the round stones. I don't know. I think that's probably more. Um, more, I don't know, modern, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it could be a vintage look. But, let's see. We have a marking. SU and then 925, so that's good. SU is for the silver, silver marking. So that's really cute, really pretty. Let's test the stones. Like with glass, so this is. I feel like I would maybe sell this for like 20 15 to 20 just because it's a little more of the modern look. Um, if you want it on here, you can have it for 13, but it's really pretty. I like it, it's kind of small, I think probably seven inches. Now we have another, I've gotten a lot of these bracelets. Wow, look at all the class. I mean, this has been a really good box already. What am I up to, husband? Let's see. Was it 237? Okay, wow. We're getting up there. This is a good box. I'm not even like halfway through. So that's cool. Alright, let me move Presidium in here. 
All right, looks like we have the 925 stamp and like, let's see. LL? Hmm, I've never heard of LL before. Oh, looks like we're missing a stone too. We might be able to find it at the bottom of the box, but let's see. Oops, it's gonna touch the middle now. Okay, it's reading nothing. So with the stone missing, um, I would put it in a lot, but if I can find the stone, then I'll probably fill it, sell it for like eight bucks. If you wanted it, you can have it for five, but it's really cute. Little hearts. All right, let's dig in some more. This looks like another one of those like ball chains. Um, they're not really my style. Let's see if this one has the marking on it. It says 925 Italy and SU. Okay, so um, I could definitely add it to something. So it's nice to have a silver, I have tons of silver chains, so it's nice to have it if you know, a pendant is missing a chain or the chain is broken, I can add it. So this is probably worth like five bucks. And if I added to a piece, it would just add the value. So let's see, okay, I can see 925 clear on here. So I don't really have to zoom in on that. 925X or K, yeah, K, 925K. And then I do have a little, Say 10. 10. Hmm. So that's interesting. Um, 10. I wonder if that's like 10K. <laughs> Let's see if this stone is anything. Looks like it's glass, most likely. It did go up just a little bit. Yeah, so most likely glass. So I'm sure you wouldn't put any fake on a real 10K anything. So it's cute little flower stone ring. Um, I'll probably just put that in a lot just because it's super tarnished. What is that? I think I already have a, one of these too. That's cute. Yeah, Broman. I think I have another one exactly like this already. So that's cute, like $5. Let's see. We're getting in here now. It looks like a stone, some kind of stone. If I can get this tangle out. Yada, yada, yada. All right, here we go. Let's do the bear, bear first. The bear. <laughs> we can talk, right? Let's see. 925. I want to say it's like an STR. It's so tiny though, I can barely, I don't know if I can see it. 925 on there. So that's cool. And the 925 chain. And we've got this little stone bear. That's cute. I think it's a bear. Unless you know something different. Let me know. It looks like a bear to me. Hmm. All right, here we go. Um, I'm thinking maybe garnet or something. I want to say, maybe not garnet. What am I talking about? I don't know. Hmm. I want to have to do some research. See what that is. But since it is something, this necklace with it too, I'd probably sell this for like 15. So that's cool. Ooh, look at this little gem. It looks like it matches that other bracelet. How cute is that? Little butterfly with some stones. It's just, I'm curious about the stones. Let's get these stones red. All right. I'm thinking garnet. Mm. The blue I jumped up on the other one too. So let's try that again. I think an aquamarine, and then, what are you, purple? Okay, so, I forgot to make glass. I think it might be something else, but for now, let's check the chain. No more.
markings on the chain. All right, but we got some markings on the wings here. So it says China and 925. So that's cool. It's probably like $25. That was really cute. Oh my goodness, we're getting up there on these numbers now. What are we at? Like, wow, 287. So we are, we are wrecking it up today. My goodness, I've barely even dug in this box. Okay, I don't see any markings on the chain, so. Nope, they were magnetic, so put that in the, in the, what do you call that? Lot box? All right, looks like we got Mr. Penguin here. Cute little Mr. Penguin though. And then, let's see with the chain. It's a CW. Nine two five. I want to say, yeah. What is that? Nine two five, and then what? It's another nine two five. I want to say Italy. Nine two five Italy. That's interesting. Um, let's see. All right, so we got a penguin. It's cute. It's got some stones on it too, so we're gonna check those. Little white ones on the belly. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Oops. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. You're so tiny. Oops. Oh, that was a good reading now. Ah! Ugh, I'm sorry. All right, the black stones to be nothing, it looks like. I'm thinking these clear stones are probably diamonds then. Let's see if I can just get it on there right. Oh, it's trying to get up there. So either sapphire or diamonds. So that's really cool. I'll have to do some research on it, but with the silver chain, the cute little design and the diamonds possibly. Either diamonds or sapphire, I'd probably sell this for like $40, $45 maybe. So that's awesome. That's a that's a big win. We've got old school. The penguin was adorable. I know that, that'll sell. Um, little geode going on with some, looks like, I want to say gold or used to be gold. Looks very tarnished though. Same with the chain is very tarnished. I want to say some gilding on it. The Savvy Heart, I've never heard of them before. I'll have to look them up. If I can clean the chain up and, you know, maybe clean up the sides of this, I could just sell the geode maybe by itself, but um, with the whole chain and everything, I don't know, probably like $25. It's really cool though, very um, green. Let's just test it and see what it's reading. Yeah, here we go. Um, Probably maybe like, ooh, jumping up. Hmm. I don't know. It's a cool geo though. It's reading something. I'll have to do some research. So that's cool. Now we have some more. Oh, yeah, we found the matching one. This one actually has a hook on it too. The other one didn't, but it looks a little tarnished, so I'll probably replace the hook. Um, I can't remember what I said those were going to be for, but now that I've got the set, Probably sell it for like $20. I think my husband already had that. I think this is the Magnonite, right? Yeah. I think it's what it's called, Magnonite. So that's cool. A little stretch bracelet, probably like five bucks online. Oh, now we have, I don't know what this is. Some kind of pendant. It's interesting. It almost looks like, I don't know. I feel like Star Wars or not Star Wars, maybe like Star Trek vibes with us. Um, let's see what the chain is reading. Oh goodness, it says something. Let's see what it says. <laughs> Did I have it the right way? <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this again. Okay, so Sterling. Sterling 
doing something. Doesn't look like numbers. Maybe it says silver. I don't know. Sterling something though. So that's cool. Oh, we got something back here too. Silver, okay. So we got sterling silver. So that's cool. It's already giving us some money. We're reading something on the stone too. So that's interesting. I've never seen a stone like this deep, deep blue like that. Huh. I have to look that up. So since it's reading and it's silver, I'd probably put that at like fifteen dollars, just because it's got this little like design. I don't know. If it's, is it a butterfly? Is it like a bug? I have no idea. That's cool. It would lay flat on you, so that's kind of cool too. All right, here we go. Another little little necklace here. Um. No markings on there. No markings on the flower. Let's go to the no markings on the pendant or the other pendant. Just double check this. All right. The clasp is magnetic, but the chain doesn't feel like it is. Let's see if these are. No. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, so we've got this little baby blue. Super light blue necklace. Oops. Ooh. I'd probably just say aquamarine then. It's super pretty. I like the coloring on it. So we got a little charm with a heart, or with a heart, with a flower, and maybe some Asian writing, I want to say, or not sure. Some kind of writing in here. So that's interesting. I'm not really sure what that is. But super cute. I'll probably sell that for 10 or 15. I'll say 15 because it's got the aquamarine stone and the little charms on it. So that's cute. Now we've got the little ring. Um, I thought I saw some writing there. Okay, we've got some writing on the back. India. That looks like India vibes here. Um, that's cute. It almost looks like tiger's eye-ish. Let's just test the stone and make sure we're not working with anything. So we're not working with anything, but it's a cute ring. Let's see what size it is. Um, six and a half. So that's cute. Probably sell that one for five. I don't know if this is like real silver or not, so I'll have to clean that up because I can really clean it up. So we'll see about that. But that's cute. Now we got some bangles going on here. It looks like some stretchy bangles. Another yummy belly button ring. Looks like some more, some more aquamarine. Oops, nothing. All right, so this is nothing. So I'll put that in the in the lot pile. I don't, I don't really sell belly button rings, so. Looks like some tiger's eye. Some really pretty tiger's eye. Okay, my husband's giving me a calculator, I guess, so he can go do his own thing. <laughs> He's tired of being the unpaid assistant. I hear ya. So this is a tiger's eye bracelet, a little stretch. It's cute though. I think I've seen these sell for, I think, like 15. So I'm gonna add 15 to the calculator. This is really pretty. Oh, I think I saw a matching one yet, so. There's another matching one in here. So we got two of the flower, colorful beads. Let's test the beads. Cool. So I'm gonna be garnet, that's what I'm thinking. They're really cold to the touch, so that's a good sign. Let's see. Some of these might be reading glass though. Huh. Yeah, some of these are reading glass. So is this pair? I'll probably add like five bucks. They feel heavy though, so I might have to do a little more testing on them, but um, let's say five bucks. Let's add that to 
the pile. Oh, this is cool. It's like a stretchy. We got some beads in here. We got some stones. These pretty stones, really colorful, pretty stones. So let's see. I'm gonna move this into view. Sorry. Here we go. This might be reading glass. Hmm. It might just be glass. So this is cute though, a little stretch. I'll probably sell that for five bucks too. Just because it's got the beading and a little more details to it. But it feels cool and it looks like stones. So that's pretty cool. So this is another glass beaded. This is definitely glass. You can see like the little ribbing and little designs on it. So um I don't know if I'd even sell this just because, I don't know. We'll sell it for two bucks. Let's say two dollars. Now we have a little mother of pearl inlay cuff. These go in like the suits. Um, I forget what it's called, but it goes in like the side of the suit or the po pocket, like cuff area. What does that say? It's got like some red ink or something in there. I can't remember what that says, but let's see, that says 925. Okay, here we go. There's another bigger number down here. 925. So it says something here, but can't quite read it. So this is 925. If I could find a matching of this with a little, you know, card. I can't remember which one this is, but um, deck of cards symbol. The Mother of Pearl, probably like 925 too. If I could find the pair, I'm going to say 10. Now we have a little XO. Love you. This looks like stainless steel to me. It's just that like extra, extra shiny. TR. Hmm. And then our hearts go with you. So TR. I'm going to have to look that up. It does take a little bit more. You think that this is just like, oh, you just throw them out there and you got to, you know. But I really try to be as accurate as possible with my customers online and with you guys on here. So I really like to do as much research as I can before I just like throw throw something out there. So if I put this on a chain, I would probably sell this for like $7. All right. Some of the necklaces I don't want All right. Ooh. So we have awesome rusted bangle. Lot. Lot, lot. Boss earrings. I think I'm okay. Birkin cuff. Lot pile. Another little chain necklace. Looks pretty tarnished though. It looks like just some beadings and it's broken it looks like. So lot. Can you see all this? I'm not even going to untangle it because it looks obnoxious. Lot. With some kind of weird necklace too. I'll put this all in a lot. Ooh, we got a little bracelet here. A lot. We got this little metal piece too. I don't know. A little chain. Ooh, it looks very goldish though, so I might keep that and see if I can get it for a spare or something. All right, so another one of those little twist, super dainty bracelets. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a rose gold too. Um, let's check. So we're a little tarnished, but. Oh yeah, okay, I see 925 Italy. So that's awesome. I'd probably sell this one with that other pair. I guess I would sell that one for like 10. So this one's rose gold, I might sell this one for like 13. It's so dainty and minimalist though, so it's super pretty. I might have to keep some of those because they're just so cute. So we've got, oh, a 925 little stud. That's cute if I can find the pair. If I can find the pair to this, I'm gonna say like $10. We've got giant earring. Put it in a lot. Bangles, so many bangles. Unicorn. A unicorn. I'll probably put this on a chain. Oh, nope, it's magnetic. So put it in a lot. This looks like mother of pearl, but it's all busted. So I'll put it in a lot. Somebody might like to craft with those and then matching earring piece, more bangles. Lot, lot, lot. Okay. So now we're gonna pull out some more. These are cool. These little glass beads over here. Alright. 
Let's look at this first. This looks like stainless steel again. Just that extra shine. You can really tell the difference between stainless steel and um, what's it called? Silver. They're very, very shiny. So we're gonna test the stone on here. Looks like some nice little glass. It might be garnet, maybe. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say glass. So that's really cute though. That's a really cute little statement ring. Um, I was gonna put it on my finger, but I think it would fit my ring finger. So that's cute. And we're looking like an eight. So that's cool. So I will probably sell that for 15. Uh, if you want it on here, you have it for 10, but I'm gonna sell it for 15 online. I like all the details and the squiggles, all the fun stuff. All right, we got a little crystal. Let's test it. Oops. The equipment's getting tangled over here. Let's make sure we don't have silver. Let's just... So I'm assuming that's probably silver then. Mm, let's see. Cool. So, I don't know, maybe this is eye light or something? Okay, we're getting higher now. I wanted to say quartz. So, I think quartz is cool. It's like, I don't know what's if it's like cracked in there or what's going on inside, but it's got some lines and stuff in there. It's really cool, like super artsy. If I can clean up the top too. So if I added that to a chain, I would probably sell that for like seven. Then we got, ooh. Can you say marry me? Oh, do you guys hear my stomach? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. So we got 925 again. That's cute. Let's check the stones. Please be diamonds. Yeah, right. Okay, so I did get this one checked at a, at a high-end retail store here. And they said that this was... 10 karat. I'm saying this because I found this in a Goodwill blue box. So these are real diamonds and this is 10 or 14 karat white gold. So this is worth a pretty little penny. Thank you, Goodwill blue box. And I wear it right now. So you'll see them in my videos. They all, these are white gold, my bands too. So I was like, what a beautiful combo. So anyways, 925. Let's check the stone. We're reading nothing. So I'll probably sell that for five bucks online just because it's 925. It's cute though. If you want it on here, you can have her too. All right, let's go back to the glass. Sorry, I jumped around here. And I'm gonna fix this tangle real quick. Okay, these are really pretty. So I could sell these maybe in a pair. I think I saw another one too. Um, let's see. I swear I saw another one. Okay, well, anyways, if I have another one with this, um, I could put it on a chain too or have it included in a chain. I might sell them all three together for like 25. And if it's just the two, I might still, I'll probably sell it for like, let's just break the difference and say 20. So we're gonna go back to 20. So we're at $500 here, guys, and we're still digging through here. So this looks really pretty. It's like rose gold. Oh, it says 925, so that's cool. I actually have two of these right now, so I'm gonna pull the other one out too. So that's really pretty. It looks like there's some stones on here. I think this is like a, um, okay, so we've got like Roman numbers on here. Okay, so we got like one through, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's like five or six, something like that. It's really pretty. Do you see those little tiny stones? So that's cool. Let's see if I can get them to read. Oops. All right, let me put it down flat. That might help me a little bit here. I'll put this in view too. That would also help. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. I don't get all tangled at first. Looks like almost like that maybe the stone in the center is like a magnifying glass or something like that. I think that's what that is. It's cool. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh. It might be slipping off. Let's try it again. I don't know if it's in here. It's 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it again one more time. All right, one more time. I think this might be like wet sapphire or maybe diamond. My husband's better than this at me, than me. Um. I'm just hitting metal now. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, definitely something here. We're either talking about diamonds or white sapphire. With the 925 rose gold chain, I would probably sell that for... Um, I would probably sell this for like 25 to $30. I need to unlock my calculator. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to say, right, I'm going to say 30. Let's say 30 for this one. With the chain. And it's reading something. So I'm going to say 30. Because if it's sapphire or diamonds, it's definitely going to be in that price range. It's a really cool little, little necklace. Definitely a trendy piece. I have one again. This is a heart shape though, with that same clock and it says love on the back. But same with that like little magnifying glass in the center. It's really cool though. It like makes all the different colors. So what is the word saying? A M A M, what does it say? I am I am jam. I don't know what that is. A M. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look these up and see what they're really going for on the market. But I'm gonna say at least twenty-five to thirty dollars. Says S nine two five. Good. All right, let's see if I can test these stones. Be patient with me here. I can do it. Oops, already. Here we go. Beeping. I can put it down and see if I can get it better. Yay, yay, yay. Try one more time. All right, we're trying to read something here. So I'm gonna go with this is probably the same as the other one. Let's see if I can get this tiny pink stone. Oh, it was trying to read something. All right, I'm not gonna torture y'all anymore. So that's cute. Like I said, probably another 25 to $30 in just because it's really super dainty. I'll have to do some more research and see if I can, um, see if I can find this online, but. So we're up to $564 right now. Isn't that wild? So that's cool. Cute necklaces. Ooh, little heart. This, this is pretty, a little cross. And it says, I want to say 925, yeah, 925. Right, is that what this says? Yeah, 925 something. So that's cool. Cute little heart. You can see the little stones, three stones. I really dislike the little melee diamonds. Oh, oops. Do we have diamonds? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I'm usually semi decent at this. All right. All right, and it looks like we're going to diamonds. <laughs> I keep slipping off. This is driving me crazy today. Can you tell I need a nap?
Okay, so it could be sapphire. Okay. Come on, take me to diamonds. For diamonds it took me 15 times but it's a diamond with a 95 cross so that's awesome I probably sell that I mean gosh that bumps us up quite a bit because these are some pretty nice sized diamonds here um, so let's add that in here I just said we were at like 564 I don't know I probably sell this for at least I would think probably a hundred dollars that's a really awesome piece I'm gonna say at least 100 for resale, maybe 125. Let's just ball out here and say 125. Wow, that puts us up to 690. Holy cow, that was an awesome find. That's a big money, money maker right there. Nope, pulling out the same. We separate the files here. All right, so that was so cool. We had some diamonds, finally. WB. Just like that earring, so that's interesting. Are we magnetic? Yeah, we're magnetic, so that's cute though. Probably sell that for like five dollars, depending on who that maker is, but super detailed. So I'm gonna say five since it is magnetic. We've got the, the feather chain here. All right, so we're not even tangled. Oops, Get my stand. This is cool. Let me zoom out so you guys can see this. This is cute. We got feathers and we got beads, we got chains. We got it all. Looks like some natural little earth stones too. So that's cool. Let's check the old presidium. Zoom in again. Let's see. All right, cool. So probably I'm thinking maybe like quartz or something like that. Mm, yeah, so that's cool. It's a pretty little fashion statement necklace too. So I'm probably gonna say this would be like $10. That's cute. I probably should check the chain here too before I go throwing out numbers. I don't see anything though. It just got the little dangle, dangler there, so. What did I say, $10? Oh, we're into 700 now, oh my gosh. This is an amazing box. I think I said the last one was my best box, but I, I think I said too quickly, California might be where it's at. So this is an interesting, it's got the little silver balls, but it's on a chain bracelet, so that's really cool. Malor, Italy? 925? Huh, I don't think I've ever heard. I'm gonna make my husband Google that. Malor. Malor. Hmm. Let's see. I can actually pull it up on my phone. 704. Okay. So let's see. This is my old phone. <laughs> so let's see. Malor. Bracelet. Let's see. What do you pull up? This one's going for 90. Why is this going for 90? Oh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's say like silver ball, gold ball. If I can spell. Okay, so it looks like we're going anywhere from 20 to $30, it looks like. So I'm gonna go with 25, so that was a good find. It's, I mean, it's really detailed, so I definitely, definitely can believe that. So that's really cute. Like I said, it's got like the actual chain on it too, so I thought it was gonna be like a stretch bracelet. 
but it's not. So let's go back to my calculator here and say 25. Since this is up to 730, I still cannot believe that diamond cross. That's wild. So it looks like another little turquoise, I don't know, Japanese writing on here, I'm assuming. I'm gonna speak on that, but I think so. 925, so that's cute. If I can find the pair, I'll probably sell that for like 10. Um, let's see what else we have this now. All right, here we go. Oh, see, I told you I saw that other glass one. So I'm right. I'm gonna add five dollars to my calculator for that. All right, so I have another one of these glamorous necklaces. Another little. Let's just make sure we're not working with anything here. Yeah, a little faded bead. Almost look like coral or something to me, but it is not. It looks plastic to me. So we got a little silver box here. Super cute. And we're Claire's, so I'll put that in a in a lot. It's cute though. So put that in a lot. Ooh, oh, there's the matching one. The dagger and balls. So we're out of here. This looks like this is coming to the very bottom here now, guys. Um, Alright, here we go. Come to the bottom here. A lot of little intricates here at the bottom. Okay, so more bangles. Bangles on bangles and like a little boho style chain. Mm, looks like a little clear stone. Let's check here for glass. Oops, that's my calculator. I'm getting swarmed here by my, ugh, my junk pile. All right, oh, there we go. Let's scoop it back a little bit. All right, it looked like glass, so I'll put that in a lot. Uh, well, actually, I'll put it to the side. If I find the matching pair, we'll do a cost from there. These are cool, though. Little gold chain here, it's super magnetic. Yep, we're magnetic. This is a cute piece, I would still sell this. This is like a little, Roach pin. Um, ah, I'm all tangled. I'm sorry. I know you guys want to see it. So it's a butterfly and a rose. It's a little like brooch pin. Pins on both sides. Probably sell that for five dollars. Um, getting down to the bottom here. There's a little little pickings here. Some more stone little earrings. I'm assuming these are. Stones. So if I can find the matching one, we'll see what that is. So that's cool. I won't put a price on that yet. So it looks like another mother of pearl type bracelet. Maybe a little turquoise inlay here. Um, let's see. That said 925. Yep, 925 Italy. So that's cool. What's that marking? RK? This is really detailed though. Do you see like these little, and then the mother of pearl look, and then the like little turquoise. I don't know, I probably sell that for like $20. It's really cute. So let's put 20 on the calculator. We're getting up there, oh my gosh, this is wild. This is a big box. Mm, all these little thank you Los Angeles. I can get my boxes from there more often. All right, so I'm gonna put this little cross and little Little dog print aside, a little pearl earring. Let's see if you're magnetic. Nope, no magnetic. Hmm, if I could find a pair to this little guy, might be worth a little something. This is 925. Yeah, Italy. No, it says 14 karat. What? So it's 14 karat Italy. That's cool. I'm assuming that's probably a real pearl then. Ooh, if I can find the match to this, it'd probably be like 30 bucks, probably. 
That's cute. All right, we'll set that to the side. I won't put that on the calculator lens just in case I want to find another pair. I do that with the earrings, so I don't want to like give false hope here. This looks like a little friend's little golden heart. This looks like stainless steel to me. So I'll probably sell that for like 10 bucks. And we've got these necklaces. I'm not showing them to my camera, I'm sorry. So we've got two necklaces here, little paw prints. And we'll pull the rest of this out of the broken. So give me just a second. All right, I've got like seven more pieces and then I should be done. Yeah, yeah, let me just, yeah. All right, the rest looks like broken pieces, so. All right, so we have a little locket here. And it says 95 sterling, so that's cool. Let's do a little test. With gold presidium. Ooh, straight over to diamond. Yay! Okay, so we got a diamond again. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty. Let's open her up. I always love to see nothing. Three hearts. Okay, so I don't know with this little design on it, too. I'm probably looking at like I don't know, maybe like 60 to 80. Let's cut the difference and say 70. Oh my gosh, we're up to 850 now. Okay, we got a little dog print. No markings on the bottom. And looks like nothing but a little bead. Okay, so let's check the paw print. We got some jewels. Okay, looks like glass. All right, so it's cute though. Probably sell that for like 10 bucks. Super magnetic too. Yeah, super magnetic, so probably actually like five. Let's go with five. We have another little, this is definitely glass. You can see straight through it. Um, it's cute though. Little choker style necklace, I think. Maybe a little longer than a choker. It's cute. And get it into frame. Ooh. Probably put in a lot. A little turquoise connection here. A 925 stamp. Yep. So it's cute if I can find the pair. Okay. We have four more pieces. Five with this little guy to go. Actually, six. Sorry. Oof. Stuff's getting tangled in here. So let's take a look at this one first. My husband's like jumping up and down for joy. He can stop being quiet. Does that say DKT? One DKT or ten carat? Oh my gosh, I'm I am losing my mind. So that's ten carat. That's interesting. Ten carat. Hmm. Let's see. Are you ten carat? I'm assuming it would be like white gold then. Well, let's check the stones. Please be diamonds. Oops. Uh, Slipped here. All right. Looks like glass. Hmm. Looks like another glass. So that's interesting. It makes me wonder if it's really ten carat since it's not real stones. It says ten carat though. Hmm. I'll do some research on that. So I'm not gonna put a price on that yet, just in case that it's not ten carat. I want to add to my to my collection. All right. So we got another little bead necklace. It's cold to the touch. It's cute. Let's see. Definitely like the earthy type of person. Hmm. It's not really reading. Oops. Let's try like the, huh. They're reading kind of glassish. So that's odd. Um, maybe they are glass. I'll put it to the, I'm not sure pile. Down to the last four. Okay. So let's see what's inside the Pretty little locket. It says sterling on the back. Let's see. Aww. Somebody's little honey. If somebody knows who this belongs to, let me know. <laughs> Email me. This is cute. It's a 
somebody's grandpa or somebody's in here. Handsome with his little slick back hair. That's cute. Cute little locket. All right, here we go. We got Mickey Mouse. I don't know if that's tarnishing or food coloring or something. Not food coloring. <laughs> Some kind of food is what I was thinking. Um, that's cool. Disney stamp. If I can actually clean it up. Okay, we're not magnetic. So, I'm thinking probably like $10 on that. All right, so we got another little ear. And let's flip it around and see what we got back here. Yay, yay, yay. There it is. Ten K. Let's say F D L L J. Ten K L J. Huh. That's interesting. So it's probably white golden. It's a cute little like bow type earring. I have to look around and see if I can find that in the broken pieces at the bottom of this box. Oops. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Buzz, buzz, buzz. All right. Definitely looks like it's reading something. So I'm going to say if I can find the pair, I will say 25. But they're just teeny little diamonds if they are diamonds or white sapphire. It's cute though. Um, all right, so it looks like this is last. This is pretty. It looks like there's some stones in there. Mm, let's see. It's probably. All right, here we go. It says Thailand. And 925 with some. It must be like Thailand writing. Or Thai writing. So it's really pretty. Let's see if I can get these teeny tiny stones. Let's have a buzz a thon again. Hmm. Well, it looks like it was about to go to diamonds, so I'm going to assume these are probably diamonds and little tiny diamonds. A game operation over here that I'm losing miserably. I'm gonna assume these are diamonds since it was about to be over there. So it's either sapphires or diamonds. Um, it says 925, so it's probably gold plated. Gosh, a ring like this, shoot, it's pretty big. Um, I'm gonna say probably 30. 30 on there. So our grand total, oh my gosh, is gonna be 900. And 19 and that still didn't count some of these like earrings and stuff so I don't know if I like counted these just for like metal <laughs> you know maybe like another 20 or 30 bucks so that's cool well my gosh that was a crazy box thank you um, where was that from is it San Francisco that's where it was supposed to go. Yeah, okay, San Francisco. It's supposed to come from Tracy, so that's wild. So we have had diamonds and silver and, oh my gosh, so many things. 10K. Yeah, if this is real 10K here, this is definitely going to put us in the $1,000 um, earnings. Plus the box itself with the junk jewelry is at least another $30. So we're definitely in the thousands now, which is wild. I cannot believe that. That's so crazy. It looks like just broken pieces at the bottom. So these are my favorite ones so far. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. And finally we hit, looks like we're probably a thousand dollar box on this one. So it's so awesome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hit my subscribe button. And until next time, go get you a Goodwill Blue Box.